All right, good morning guys. My name is Curry Russell again, and I'm going to talk to you today about Groove Video. So I do a lot of embedded video. I don't like using YouTube because YouTube shows so many recommended videos that sometimes takes them away from the direction you're trying to go. So we've used Wistia, we've used other services in the past for embedding, embedding videos cleanly. But now that I've got this, uh, you know, lifetime member with Groove, we get all the access to their Groove video. So you'll find Groove video directly under Groove member in the Groove funnel section. And we're going to jump over here. And honestly, their tracking system sucks right now. It ain't, there's, it's just, it's just, they, they're still in beta. So all of this is still coming. So I'm not worried about any of the tracking at this moment, but we're going to focus on the video. So on the left hand side, choose videos. And if you have any integrations for storage or encoding, if you're not a lifetime member, that's where you will find that. But in the video section, this is where we're going to drop in a video. So at the top right, you click add video. You're going to give it a name. Or we're just going to call this uh, test video one video description testing. And we're going to hit create. So the very first thing you can you're gonna see is the name you just created and then you're gonna upload your video so we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna to go to videos and I'm just gonna choose a very short video that I've worked with before from a movie called Zootopia and then you're gonna hit upload video now here's the one part that I'm not liking you can't change the screen you can change the screen but you can't leave this screen like if you like it, if it's uploading in the background you've got to let it sit here and the same with encoding so what's going to happen is it's going to upload the video first and in just a second you're going to see that'll be complete and then it'll, on the right hand side it'll jump to encoding now you cannot change like you can't leave this screen if you do go to another tab um, because i have found out that it will literally just restart the whole process so now we've gone into encoding video. Now this is a really small video, so this shouldn't take too long. So under display, you can actually leave a fixed size if you're gonna leave it on a fixed size, or you can make it responsive to adjust to any any um, size that, it, that it's set to. Settings is where you can create your splash image. Like if it's not play, auto play on load, you can put a splash image on there. And you also could load a watermark that will be on the video all the time. So you can show the controls of the video. You can mute the video on start. You, this changes the skin color of the play button. And this will cycle through a, a, a color scheme. Auto play on load. Honestly, I haven't actually seen this work. It works in the website in the funnel builder, uh, uh, Groove Funnels or Groove Pages. Um, but when I have actually had this on and I go to the website, it does not, it does not autoplay. So processing is complete. Your video has been uploaded. You're done. Well, now here's the coolest part about the, uh, the entire Groove video piece is your call to action. You can have an opt-in form that, that, uh, shows up on your video, a banner ad, a text overlay and a text overlay with a call to action. So let's just say that you wanted to have a banner ad. So you're just going to select that and then you're going to choose your banner ad and you're going to say display at these are hours, minutes and seconds. So if you know the exact length of your video where you want it to show up at, you can put it there, put your image, put a URL, show a skip button if you want, and then you can create it. Your text overlay is exactly what it says same thing display from display till and then a text and you can also include a hyperlink in that text text overlay with call to action so this is the you could put that same exact thing from the previous one but it also has the url now go back to the opt-in form the opt-in form is going to show the headline and then it's going to give them uh, a form to, to put in there you know, we're going to say nothing because there's nothing we created. End of action is either loop the video or just end the video. So the next thing you're going to do is hit save and exit. And now all you need to do to show that video is grab the embed code and go to copy. And then I'm just going to walk you through actually placing it in a, in a 
uh, page. So we're going to go back over to your groove. I'm going to hit the groove pages. Let's create a new site for fun. Uh, let's choose a basic template. Uh, this one works. You select. This gets us moved down the road a little faster. Now, remember, I grabbed a, a bit of code, so we, we can't just paste the link to the video. So that's not going to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this big old video, and we're going to hit the delete button, and then come back over here to elements, and we're going to scroll down to where we find, I just passed it, the code embed. And you're going to take that, and you're going to select it. We're going to put it right here. And now we select that and choose the gear option and you're going to drop in the link to the video and you're going to hit paste and then save and now my video is right there and it's responsive so we're going to hit the save button and let's see if sometimes I have found that the preview actually doesn't work yet but we're going to see if it did it looks like it did play the video video plays Everything works great. So now you can build out your page with an embedded video and you're good to go with Groove Video. Have a wonderful day.